on a serious note, uh, rest in peace and um, condolences to DC Youngfly, his longtime partner, Jackie O, and uh, her real name was Jacqueline, I believe. Um, she actually passed away the other day, allegedly from complications due to having a mommy makeover, right? Which typically is like a BBL, a breast lift, and all that. Now, she passed away in Miami, and she went to Dr. Zach. Now, Dr. Zach is the same doctor that did Young Miami's tummy tuck after she had her last baby. And now Young Miami is talking about having another baby. I just, I can't. But anyway... Uh, Jackie and DC Youngfly had three kids. What I think happened because, you know, I hear a lot of people talking about, you know, learn to love yourself. These surgeries ain't worth it. Be natural. Let's just back up and let's be real. Her and DC been been together for a very long time. I honestly don't think that DC encouraged her to do the surgery, but I think he was supportive if that's what was going to make her happy. She had girl, girl, and then finally had a boy. She gave him his son. I feel like she was like, look, we done having kids. You got your boy and I want my pre baby body back. But here is some here's the truth that we got to face. Sometimes you're not going to be able to get your pre baby body back. Sometimes you have to learn to love your new body. Due to the catastrophic effects of social media, which we don't social media is fairly new. So we really won't understand the effects of it for another 20, 30 years. We're the guinea pigs of this shit. We all got a case and a touch of body dysmorphia out here. We all looking at people that we think we need to look like in order to feel attractive. When baby, them people don't even look like that. Them people is full of makeup, fillers, hair weave, haircut, all that shit. It's 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 all it's all it's all bullshit. And now they got all these filters, and now people people now have babies and put a filter on a baby face. Put a won't take a picture without putting a filter on their face. Like we've gotten way too vain. Way too, way too, way too, way too. And here's the thing. To me, she didn't need no work done. To me, she was very attractive. She wasn't big. But I could feel that way. Y'all could feel that way. I, I heard that when she posted that she was getting the mommy makeover, a lot of women told her, no, don't do it. Like, you look, you look great. You look fine. But her insecurities got the best of her, unfortunately. As it can happen to anybody because we're human. I think she also looks at the fact that DC is growing in his career. He's around all different kinds of women. And I think a part of her wanted to keep up and compete and make sure he still got some good snatched at home. And it's just ultimately not worth it. Um, now this man is a single father. And now you got three young kids that don't have their mother. And the littlest one is not even going to remember her. It's really sad. Surgery is so commonplace and so accessible. We forget that your ass can die from it. Okay? Anytime somebody puts you under, it ain't no guarantee you're going to wake up. That's the truth. When you have surgery and you fill out all them forms, I don't know if y'all read that shit, but it releases them a liability. Because going under anesthesia put, puts you in a state of like between comatose and death. You're not, you don't realize it when you're, when you're under, you're on death's doorstep. You're like here. And you never know how you're going to react, gonna uh, how your body's going to react to the surgery. Here's another thing, too. Uh, I can't really talk about it because of YouTube's algorithm. But due to the you know what? A lot of people are walking around with damaged bodies and they don't realize it because they look okay on the outside. But you're going to hear about a lot of people that go through surgeries, go under and really not wake up because they've already been through so much stresses with the, you know what? And oh, I, That's all I can say. 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 But y'all get what I'm saying. But surgery is no joke. That's no joke. And it's unfortunate. And I'm not here to put her down. I'm not here to make fun of the situation. But we need to have a talk about learning to love and accept yourself. If you fat, be fat, be confident to be a fat. You don't want to be fat, get in the gym. Whatever you can't work out in the gym, sometimes you literally have to ask yourself, you know what, is it worth it? Or can I just learn to live with 
having a pooch. You had three kids. Can I just live with having stretch marks? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have the answers. Um, I've been very forthcoming. Y'all know. I want a nose job. I've been very forthcoming with that. And I and now I have the money to go get one. And I, now I could go do it. But you know what I'm thinking now? Like, do I really need to go do that? Then I'd be thinking like, well, damn, I could do it. But I'm the only child. And God forbid something happens. Is it is it worth it to do that shit for just to have a smaller nose? Like it just you start and I got and God forbid if I had kids. I definitely probably wouldn't do that shit. It's just not, it's just not worth it. It's really not worth it. And then motherfuckers' nose be falling apart anyway. So I'd be like, mm, maybe I need to leave my shit alone. Anyway. Uh, it's storm show. Hey, it's storm show.